welcome to your celebration. Introducing the class of 2020. For the rest of your life, every time you look at your certificate, you won't see a piece of paper. You'll see a reminder of everything you achieved during your time at BU. This is not a piece of paper. This is so much more. This is four years of my life. This is one year of my life. This is absolute, unwavering focus. This is sleepless nights before arrivals meet. This is awkward conversations with total strangers. This is the amazing friends they became. This is the nerves I felt starting my placement year. This is the confidence I felt once it was done. This is late nights in the library. This is early morning runs on the beach. This is big nights out and long nights in. This is spending hours on an assignment. This is binning it the night before and starting again. This is passing it anyway. This is color-coded revision timetables. This is the black and white of discipline. This is everything I learned on the units I passed. This is everything I learned on the exam that I failed. This is juggling my research and my job. This is overcoming disappointment. This is beating adversity. This is resubmitting. This is never giving up. This is redemption. This is knowing that I can do this and I will do this. This is not being able to go home and see my family. This is no summer ball. This is no end of year night out. This is not saying goodbye in person. This is not shaking my lecturer's hand. This is not hugging my classmates. This is us celebrating online when we should have been celebrating together. This is every Am I On You in a Zoom seminar. This is the bedroom that became a lecture theatre. This is the class WhatsApp banter group that became a class WhatsApp support group. This is two fingers to COVID-19. This is knowing that if I can succeed here, in these circumstances, then I can succeed anywhere, in any circumstances. This is not a piece of paper. This is so much. Introducing Professor John Vinnie, Vice-Chancellor of Bournemouth University. Thank you to the 40 graduates who helped to make that brilliant film and welcome to your graduate celebration event. As your Vice-Chancellor, I'm delighted to be able to join you live today and it is fantastic to see so many of you here. This is our opportunity to celebrate with you while we wait for a time when we can get together in person. The motto of this university is discere mutari est, which means to learn is to change. And you have learned and changed so much over the course of your time at BU, and we have learned from you. Our vision for BU is based on the fusion of education, research and professional practice, making what you have learned relevant and equipping you for the future. And life at university is about so much more than studying. The other activities you took part in were also opportunities to grow and develop and to make friends that you will stay in touch with for the rest of your lives. Work in your fields has never been more important to society than it is now, as we seek to understand and respond to the challenges in our environment. I also want to acknowledge on behalf of BU and our wider community the contribution made by our students and staff who have supported our communities at BU locally, nationally and globally during your time with us through working and volunteering, supporting the public sector and charities and helping neighbours and colleagues. Thank you for everything that you've done. Your journey from now will require you to continually learn, change and adapt and it will not be easy but you've already demonstrated that you're up for a challenge and each one of you has demonstrated true commitment and resilience. You can be proud of everything that you've achieved as we are extremely proud of you. Alongside your academic achievements, these skills will be the launch pad for the next steps on your amazing journey. Education is about changing lives, our own lives and the lives of those around us. 
It helps us to leave the world a better place than we found it. And I know that you will all make a difference in whatever you choose to do next. So congratulations to each and every one of you. And now let's celebrate. Introducing Jonathan Good, Head of Alumni Relations at Bournemouth University. Good afternoon and welcome. I am delighted to introduce our keynote speaker for this afternoon's event, Dr. Jan Peters, MBE. Jan is a champion for diversity in science and engineering and campaigns to achieve inclusion in both education and industry. Jan, who has a PhD in electronic materials, is a former president of the Women's Engineering Society and is the founder of Catalytic, a consultancy dedicated to working with educators and science and engineering employers to achieve greater diversity through inclusion. In 2017, Jan was appointed an MBE in recognition of her achievements and in 2018 was presented with an honorary doctorate from BU. Without further ado, I'd like to hand over and say a warm welcome to Jan. Thank you so much, John. You know, as I threw my mortarboard in the air a long while ago, I had absolutely no idea of the difference that I would make. I'm Jan Peters. I'm a business owner, inclusion ideator and a coach. And my career has been far from usual. You know, I started out doing chemistry and oceanography degree before pursuing my real interest in how things worked at a molecular level for my PhD, really tiny, tiny things. But alongside that, I always had a passion to be a science journalist. And I've been a communicator, a translator, an initiator, but a motivator too. But I knew I wanted to make a difference. And as you forge your way in the world, I have three tips for you. My first is to get to know and love yourself. My PhD had long soul sucking periods of time with long, lots of slog, no results. And I've learned that taking time to notice how I feel and what I'm doing at those moments is absolutely vital. 
For example, noticing when I was going into work in one particular job that every morning I was going in closer to nine o'clock and the stairs got steeper and steeper. I was wearing concrete boots. Scientist, analyst. My anal ana analysis was that um, my job portfolio had shifted. My boss had made me write this technical manual and he'd taken everything away from me, all the fun bits of my job. But he'd also told people not to talk to me, to leave me alone, drove me crazy. So what I now know is I need three things to be doing. Something long term that's a bit dull, something really short term and fast and some medium things that throw up challenge. My second recommendation is volunteer. Use it to gain experience, but also to find your difference. And those things have given me an indication about the things that I have a passion for. And I have a passion for an inclusive workforce, a workforce that lets me be me and you be you. I started dabbling as a PhD student doing outreach and writing articles for the woman engineer. And I got a comment at BBC Radio 4, voluntary roles build experience and give you confidence for your next job. But for me, volunteering led me to design and develop and build a national campaign for personal protective equipment, getting boots that fit, jackets that stretch, trousers that stretch for women. Safety kit that fits is a fundamental human right. And when it fits women better, it tends to fit men better too. And then all these things came together for me to start my own business, Catalytic. My final tip for you is tap into your resilience. And if the pandemic experience is leaving you feeling a bit cold, think again. It's an opportunity. It's your calling card. You are the first generation to leap into a world that's still in chaos. The big, big experience hasn't happened yet. Sure, there are some plans were a bit more local than perhaps you planned. And the world may be looking a bit scary with massive debts looming everywhere you look. But you have come through this. You have a rich range of experiences to demonstrate your resilience to interviewers. How you've adapted to change. How you've learned more about other people. What frustrates them. What makes them shine. And what makes what it's like when you have your freedoms taken away. Employers just love resilience. So what's your resilience story? Start crafting it. But above all, it's never been a better time to have a science degree. Scientists have never had a better standing in the world. Post pandemic, the opportunities for you who are more adept to all the social media than any of the rest of us in the workforce are just immense. Your ability to contribute to the understanding of how we've lived as a human race in a post pandemic world, what amazing data sets and subjects you've got to have access to, data on people's working practices, how people have responded to huge changes, and the massive knowledge that we've gained about the understanding of viruses and vaccines. There is huge amounts of work to be done. There will be grants, there will be investment in understanding that data. And with a degree from science, your future is bright. The world needs you. So go forward with confidence, whatever your degree topic. Seize the opportunity and find the things that ignite your passion. Passion is what drives us all. I salute you for being bold. I salute you for being bright, but above all, for being a Bournemouth graduate. Good luck. Jan, thank you for those words um, of encouragement and advice and those insights into your own career. I was struck uh, by the breadth and diversity uh, of the way you described your working life uh, to date. And I think that could be a real encouragement to our new graduates uh, that actually a career doesn't need to be linear or fully mapped out. Just if you can just tell, tell us a little bit more about how that's worked for you and has that really just been about, I think firstly you said noticing what it is that ignites your passions, but also I imagine taking opportunities as they, they present themselves. Absolutely. I've no, I didn't always plan it to be as it is, but when I look back, the career path has been totally about what I'm like. I don't like doing the same thing twice. Um, I might be doing it twice, but the third time, really not for me. I'm always looking at improving and doing things differently. And so the fact that I've done contract research in university, I've worked in industry and manufacturing, absolutely loved it and traveling the world. But also when working in the public sector, helping commercialize science from the research base was totally about me. And it brought together my contract research experience my manufacturing experience, what's needed to take something and get it into production, but also that connecting with people and helping other people uh, leverage the things that they're good at and access different communities and different markets. 
And so those kinds of things came together and the opportunity to go on a secondment in London at the Department of Trade and Industry to promote women in science, that was a squirrel on the roof of my office, if you hear it, apologies. Um, it's This is real, this is live. Um, and so by taking things that I enjoy and seeing things and capturing them are, are ways that I have been able to respond to change and take the opportunities that have come across my path. Learning to be a great communicator, learning um, how to market and sell things have been things that have enabled me to do, to, to I hope, be my best. That's great, thank you. Um, and then finally, I was also struck by your references in your talk to both the challenges, but also the opportunities that this past year has presented. And just interested before we finish in hearing for you, are there certain aspects of this past 12 months or so that you will want to take forward? What have been the things that have been a positive change to your working practices that others could, could adopt? It's been really interesting in learning how to shift and pivot your business. And I've drawn huge strength from global communities that I'm involved in. So um, coaches that are across the world, people helping people um, develop great team working practices and improving communication between people on teams, but also helping um, academics understand how to be more inclusive and noticing how the, some of the changes have been beneficial of being online. So when you're on a, an online lecture, you've got a, the chat feature. People can support each other and people can also provide uh, re-listen to recordings. And it's, so it's able to tap into the different way that we work and learn. Some of us communicate very quickly and very fast by, by listening. Other people process information more slowly, not because they're not clever, but actually because they think of, thing, of things from lots of different perspectives. So they're doing a deep analysis before they respond. So the benefits are coming from the fact that we all think differently. But it's also important to know that in a world where we are all arranging specific times to call each other, we should all still be able to pick up the phone and just go for an impromptu phone call. Um, impromptu conversations are really great and powerful, and we should never lose that, that opportunity. So there's been it's been a mixed year, but there's been a lot of positives to draw from it. So always draw on those when you can. That's great. Well, it's good to end on a positive. Uh, unfortunately, we've run out of time for this particular segment of the event, but a really big thank you, Jan, on behalf of all of us here at BU for taking the time to, to join us and provide those words to our graduates today. Thank you. Total pleasure. Announcing the Vice-Chancellor Placement Prize. I am delighted to present the Placement Prize. This prize is awarded to the final year student judged to have made the greatest contribution to their placement company. The winner of this prize was praised for his professionalism, work ethic and determination, which resulted in a great deal of trust being placed in him by the organisation which specialises in conservation. His research embodied the BU Fusion model being intrinsically linked to the sector and real work practice. He has left a real positive legacy with the company. And the winner is Zach Bokes. Many congratulations, Zach. Now, this is your moment. Please clap and cheer and turn your camera on so we can see you on screen.
Introducing the Executive Dean for the Faculty of Science and Technology, Professor Keith Phelps. So we're now nearly at the end of our celebration today, and I hope it's given you a sense of renewed pride in just how much you've achieved during your time at BU. I look forward to celebrating again soon in person, when we're able to do so safely. In the meantime, I hope that you take what you've learned and use it to make a positive difference to your life and the lives of others. So please do stay and mingle virtually with friends and colleagues later. Once more, please do stay safe and see you again soon. Congratulations. Graduation Day is the culmination of years of hard work and the glorious recognition of it, shared with family, friends and colleagues. A special day with a formal ceremony and then a wonderful party. Sadly, we cannot enjoy such an occasion at present, but absolutely nothing can take away the achievement of your degree or doctorate and the impact it will have on your future. In addition to your degrees, Many of you took part in charity work or in volunteering in our community, taking part in projects that make a difference on society and around the world, making lifelong friends in the process. Many thanks to all of you. As part of the Chancery team, may I offer you my warmest congratulations and say how proud you can be on becoming a graduate of Bournemouth University. Well done. Hi everybody, hope you're doing well. Congratulations on making it through last year. Um, 
It's a strange year, I know. It's still strange now. And have a really good temporary graduation. We hope to see you again in the near future in person. Hello, everyone. Many congratulations to you all. I know you've all come from different countries, different backgrounds, and even very different ages. And I'm sure that this must have been a big challenge at times. So you should be immensely proud of what you have achieved and a huge well done from your program leader and the rest of the teaching team. Congratulations on graduating in archaeology. I hope all the things that we taught you here in Bournemouth stand you in good stead for the world of work or for further study, whichever you're going on to. Don't forget to come back and visit us and don't forget the most important thing, reading, reading and reading. Hello everyone and congratulations. I'm always incredibly proud of our archaeology and anthropology graduates, but this year I'm just in awe. If you guys can finish your degrees in the middle of a global pandemic, you can do anything. So set your science high and please keep in touch. We love to hear how our former students are doing. Good luck. Congratulations to all of the forensic students. You've done so well on your degree. It's been very hard earned and you absolutely deserve this. Well done. Massive shout out for all those graduating on the forensic degrees, especially the forensic investigation students. Despite the circumstances, um, you did it and I wish you all the best for your future careers. To my toxicology students, keep on researching. And to my IRP students, it was an absolute privilege to have the opportunity to get to know you better. Stay safe, everyone, and good luck. Well, hello to all the graduates of Forensic Science. It's such a shame that we cannot all be together to celebrate at this time. But you can feel very proud of yourselves for being able to complete your studies under such difficult circumstances. Please keep in touch with each other and with the staff at Bournemouth University, because we're always interested to hear what you're doing. Well, good luck in whatever direction life takes you, and let's hope that we can all meet up together soon. Congratulations. Congratulations. Hi there, everybody from uh, Biological Sciences HQ at the bottom of my garden. Uh, I really hope you're all doing very, very well. And I wanted to say a massive congratulations to you all. And of course, as you're uh, now graduates of biological sciences, you can go and solve the world's problems. So I'm expecting to hear great things about you. That just leaves me to say the best of luck and do please stay in touch. Cheerio, guys. Congratulations, everyone, for completing your course under these very difficult circumstances. And it's always been a pleasure teaching you. I'm sorry I'm not going to be able to see you this year in person at the graduation. Well done, and I hope you go on to a fantastic career. Dear students, congratulations and well done. I know the last few months of your university experience were not what you expected, but still congratulations for persevering and graduating under such difficult circumstances. And I hope to see you in person very soon. Congratulations. Congratulations, everybody. It's been such a difficult year, 2020. You're all amazing for getting through the year. Congratulations on your degrees. I'm so proud of all of you. You're astonishingly amazing. Well done. Congratulations. Congratulations to the class of 2020. As a former student, I can definitely agree that 2020 was the toughest academic year one could have ever experienced. But you did it because you are here and we are here to celebrate you and to congratulate you. And we know that you are going to achieve so much more in the future. Congratulations to you all from the Subaru Student Opportunities Team. 